Alicia, and I'm excited to bring you another AI tool, something that everybody's always asking me. It's how do I create images with words on it? Because MidJourney cannot do that. So this is a new site, ideogram.com. AI and just a little bit about them. They've raised a total of $16.5 million in seed money. Their team is world renowned AI experts and you can see some of their team members here, which is, which is just amazing. I didn't mean to, to click on that. And then they have just recently launched. So really new on the scene. But I love, I love, I love, I love the site. The best thing to do to kind of see what you can do on the site is to scroll and see what other people have done. And you can actually see their prompts. So, oops. <laughs> so if we look at this prompts, Grace Alone, T-shirt topography design, and that's what you get. Um, so let's go back up to the top really quickly. And I want to click, just show you that there are trending. So you can see that there are trending images that you can look at. So if we look at some trending images, here's like a logo, a t-shirt design vector that says, holy cow, I'm cute with a cute cartoon style cow with a pink bow on her head. And you see it did pretty good. You can see the other generations that it made it down here on the bottom. So really, really cute. Um, you could, the owner of this can also remix it, download it, share it with a link and that sort of stuff. So you see, there's quite a few things that you could do with it. Um, you know, this is great for also putting a t-shirt on somebody, right? If, if it's not me, then who, um, we can see the 3d illustrations. Look at this one. This is a rather long prompt that I've seen for somebody on this site, giving it instructions, but, um, what an amazing image again, amazing images. It's doing some really amazing. I love the colorful astronaut by Lisa Frank and painting. So we see it's understanding, um, other artists styles, but <laughs> right here is what I love is the, um, the ability to put words on it. Curvy retro style Christmas topography of the words, let it snow and white letters on a black background with snowflakes, high contrast poster. So we see that and that is looking really good. All right. So you can take all the time that you want to look at what is trending and popular. Oh, that is so cute. T-shirt design. Lots of people doing t-shirt designs on here, which is really cute. So you can see a lot of t-shirt designs. Let's talk about some of the things that I don't like about it. So when you generate an image, it really is public right now. It's free right now, um, but you can see it says your generation will be public. So uh, as of right now, I couldn't find any way to my, make my generation not public. Okay, so let's make some images. So here's one I just made. Image of a scary pumpkin with the words boo and happy Halloween. So you can see um, none of them have the words boo and happy Halloween. We've got boo Halloween, happy Halloween, <laughs> happy Halloween. So I might fix this and say a scary Im image of a pumpkin with the, word, with the words boo, happy Halloween. And I'm gonna put text. It seems to understand text better than words. And then I can choose if I want it to be a poster, a photo, a 3D render, cinematic. Let's do cinematic, uh, poster, take off, topography. And then we'll click generate. While that's generating, you can see it says generation in progress. And we'll generate something else. So the next one is cute puppy dancing, Pixar style text, I love treats. So you can see that we're doing the same, you know, different, the same styles that we would do on um, mid journey, like Pixar style. And then you can pick, do you want this to be a photo, a poster, a 3D render? And if you click see all, you can see even more like conceptual art, illustration, anime, uh, graffiti. So you can pick different things there. And then you can pick the sizes. Let's look at the sizes over here. You've got 10 by 16, one by one, 16 by 10. So you can pick the different sizes that you want as well. And then you can click generate. So you can see the difference in size between these two. Yep. So those are generating. Let's do another one. <laughs> Vector, Vector cartoon shirt design, cool vintage retro cat dancing, retro disco club with top topography, just here to dance, <laughs> um, illustrate, uh, illustration, vibrant t-shirt design. We want it long as well. 
Let's do another one. A cute ghost holding a sign, topography, you are my boo. Let's do this as lucky style. So we'll just have it pick the lucky style. So it's 4K steampunk 3D render. Let's see what happens. And then, okay, that's the last one. So going back to this one, um, now let's see, we've got, <coughs> we still don't have boo and happy Halloween in one image. But it's, you know, it got a little bit better. <laughs> We've got Happy Halloween, Boo Halloween, and uh, Happy Halloween. So I'll pick this Happy Halloween here just to show you guys. The next thing that we can do is remix it. So it shows you what the parent image is. And if you look at below this out of the four images, and you can press remix. So if we press remix, it ask us, you know, if we want to change up the style, I'm going to put lucky style and just put generate. Let's go see the next one. This one is the, aw, the cute puppy dancing Pixar style in the text is I love treats. So we can see this one worked out really well. I love treats. Um, that one is good. I love treats. The second one is actually really good. Brings in the treats. I love treats. And I love treats. So we can see that we've got some good images here. Um, I probably like this one the most or maybe even the first one, but the feet are kind of off there. I don't know what's going on with those feet. <laughs> so I'll choose this one and then I can remix that as well and uh, just see what we get, just remix it. Let's go to the next one. This is the Vector Cartoon Shirt Design. Cool vintage ret retro cat dancing image, retro disco club. All right, so just here to dance, <laughs> just here to dance. And these actually turned out great, just here to dance. You can see that those turned out great as well. And then the last one is a cute ghost holding a sign, topography, you are my boo. So you are my boo. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like the last one or the first one. The first one isn't cute. The last one has a typo. So we'll go with this first one and we'll remix it. And in remixing it, um, let's see, what do I wanna add to it? Anything this time? Maybe I'll do it cinematic this time. And uh, painting, <laughs> let's generate it and see what we get. So going back to the pumpkin, um, we still don't have Boo Happy Halloween, but that's okay. <laughs> going to the next one, the I Love Treats, we uh, re-rendered it. So we did some more with that and I've got some really good images. I like the middle one with the way love is there. We've got some really good ones here. What do you guys think? Good? Then the next one, just here to dance. Oh, we didn't change that at all. Let's see the, the ghost assigned. So I've got a cuter one now in the middle or the end one, but you know, this is the, it's still generating. You can see the generation progress. You can see that it's a little bit um, it was a little bit pixelated, but now it is so much clearer. You are my boo. So you can click on this one and then we could download it. All right. So then the question it comes, can we use these commercially? So I Googled it and on this site, OpenAI Master, it says, yes, you have the commercial rights to use the images created with Ideagram AI, except for restricted content. Always uh, follow the platform's terms and services. So now I go back to Ideagram and I was really looking at, where did it go? Like their, their, your content license grant and how you, you can use the content. Um, and then basically they say, as I read it, but when I read the terms of service, I see that it says that we have the right to use it for our personal non-commercial use. Are people putting these images on t-shirts and posters and selling them? Of course they are. But I'm just letting you know what it says in their terms of service. Will this change? Absolutely. I think they're definitely going to offer a paid service just like Midjourney did. And then in that paid service, that's where you'll have the rights to use. Right now, it's completely free to use and play around with. So I would definitely recommend that you have some fun with it. You can see the different things that we created with it. It was a lot of fun, and I hope that you do have fun with it. Just keep in mind the terms and service. Also, it says that they also have the rights. It's kind of like a broad rights. They also have the rights to do whatever they want with the stuff that you generate. So just be aware of that. You probably don't even care, but I just want to let you know, read the terms of service and be aware. And I'm sure that they'll be constantly updating and changing as the site is so old, as of doing this, you know, 
two weeks old as of recording this video. So things are going to change quickly, but have fun with it. It's fun. I'm using it. I'm having fun with it. And I know you will too. Check them out at ideogram.ai. Bye for now.